Russia introduced this law banning the so-called propaganda of non-traditional sexual relations to minors. So in other words, anything other than heterosexuality. Now, as a gay Olympic athlete, I'm, I'm curious how you perceive the law coupled with Putin's anti-gay remarks, uh, you know, affecting your life and making you feel about going into this country where your lifestyle isn't respected. Um, yeah, it's a little bit disappointing. Um, I was, you know, Olympics has always been my dream. I always want to be part of that. And now that I am part of it, this law comes in and it feels like it's, um, you can take it personally. So yeah, it's discriminating and but whatever, I'll set that aside and just focus on what I have to do. Everyone is reacting as well to some of the news about, you know, Sochi not being as prepared as it should be. Of course, there are the, the anti-gay, uh, you know, controversy. Uh, there's also been a lot of, uh, you know, pro-LGBT responses to Russia's anti-gay law from both activists and world leaders, including President Obama, who among others said he will not be attending the opening ceremony, uh, but instead will be sending high-profile gay celebrities in his place. Um, and it's worth mentioning, uh, I'm sure you saw this, or perhaps you haven't, Norway's representative to the Games, who is gay, will attend the Games with his partner. So when you hear about these responses, uh, do you feel that there's more international support out there than there is pushback? Yeah, totally. I mean, um, the more people that come to Sochi, the more um, I'm hoping that the LGBT community in Russia sees that we are there to support them and we won't um, boycott the games and abandon them, you know. This is great, you know, the more the merrier, and it's just showing more support and love. And, and uh, what about Australia in particular? I mean, how has Australia responded? They've been great. They've been really supportive. I've gotten so much positive support. I've gotten hardly any negative things, and it's been awesome, you know, it's been really good. Well, and speaking about all the support, I, I know you've received some backlash for your sexuality, but uh, to your point, you've also received a lot of praise and support, certainly worth highlighting. I mean, here are just a few tweets from people who have your back. Uh, after you tweeted, all packed for Sochi, Tanya Barrio said, I'll be rooting for you, go get them, girl. Um, and, you know, these tweets, we have another one, Fetch and Femme, uh, who tweeted, parents of gay athletes feeling worried as Sochi approaches, wishing Bell Brokoff so much luck and joy. Um, and the, the last one, Jens Ranson saying, may your six put up fingers be one of the best things we'll see at Sochi. What's that about? I mean, you were chuckling there. Um, six fingers is just um, part of principle six. And we're basically, um, we're just global supporters um, celebrating Olympic principle of the non-discrimination. And um, it's, it's a call, and also a call for um, an end to the Russian anti-gay laws before Sochi. Um, and principle six, by holding up six fingers, is um, a sign of that principle. I like the principle. I'm, uh, is that right? I hope that's right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, so, you know, when we talk about the inspiration behind what a lot of athletes are trying to do, who's motivated them in their lives, uh, you know, I I'm curious also the inspiration behind the Six Finger Salute. Uh, it reminded one of our editors of Hunger Games. Yeah, a little bit. It's just, it's just a little gesture. It's, it's, not, it's not a protest. You're not breaking anti-gay laws or violating Olympic um, ban. So yeah, it's, it's just a safe way for athletes to express themselves and, and what they think. You know, you were also recently quoted uh, as saying, President Putin, that you'd be willing to rip on uh, his ass. And, and, you know, quite frankly, a lot of people have had a visceral reaction to the law, the way the law has been enforced recently. A ninth grader, I don't know if you heard about this, in Russia was actually um, arrested, prosecuted for being out, for being open. And, you know, she was prosecuted mm -hmm. under that law. Uh, you, you seem to have shifted a bit, and you've changed your mind now, it seems. I mean, could you just explain to us the thinking behind that, that kind of reaction and what you're planning to do now? First of all, that one was a, was a joke, putting brackets, <laughs> ha-ha, next to that one. But, um, yeah, look, I, I'm not afraid to make my opinion land after the Games. After everything's done, I won't get my political bell brock off involved with the Olympic Games while I'm at the Games. Um, I don't like politics involved with sports, so I won't involve that, my opinion in that while I'm there. But definitely after, I'll make my opinion loud.